Hi, John Murphy again with Remax Results. I'm a broker associate and I work in the western suburbs of the Twin Cities. I'm also the publisher of JohnMurphyReports.com. You can also find me on my website at JohnMurphyHomes.com. Today I wanted to talk to you about the differences between short sale and foreclosure. I know there's a lot of people out there today they are feeling very desperate. They're very beaten down. They're not sure exactly what's going to happen. Um, they're thinking about maybe they should just let their home go through to foreclosure. The thing that I want you to think about is there is a difference between short sale and foreclosure. Because there have been so many short sales that have started to come through the, the pipeline for all these banks, Fannie Mae has changed their guidelines. This was last summer. And so what they have said, what Fannie Mae has said, uh, love them or hate them, they, they are the, uh, the driver of the mortgage market today. They have said that if you successfully complete a short sale and get your credit back up, back up to speed, you're making your payments on everything else, that you can qualify for another Fannie Mae backed mortgage within two years of doing that short sale. If it's a foreclosure, it's going to be uh, five years or more. It could be between five and seven years before you qualify again for a Fannie Mae backed mortgage. And the other thing with foreclosure, it's going to be something that will be on your record uh, for a long time. Job, it may come up in job interviews and things like that. They may ask if you've been through a foreclosure. Obviously, you've gone through an auto loan or anything else where you're trying to seek uh, some kind of loan from a bank. They will ask you that, and that is something that you'll be obligated to report. At this point, we haven't seen anything where they say you've been through a short sale. Okay? This just ends up going on your credit report. It's uh, reported differently. Uh, by different banks to different credit agencies, but it is definitely an improvement for your credit. Now, the one thing that we, we should talk about is that once you start missing your payments and whether you end up going through a successful short sale or you end up going through foreclosure, your credit is going to take a hit right away anyway, regardless of what's happening. You're going to probably lose two to 300 points on your credit score. But again, you can make it up faster by doing the short sale. So if you have any questions, feel free to stop by johnmurphyreports.com or johnmurphyhomes.com. Thank you very much.